I have a problem here. Something is missing. Oh, Doggo's here. Sweet. He brought me some iron ore. Nice. Good boy. All right. And he'll run and flop after me a little bit. Um, this could be a real issue because automated wiring. So you can tame those guys. I'm not sure if you knew that. Uh, when you see one in the wild, um, you stand really still and you drop, yeah, so is what you do is you stand really still and you drop one of the, the berries on the ground just by, yeah, so you get one of the berries and when you see one, you stop and he'll stop and he'll stare at you and you go into your inventory and you grab one of the berries and you just drag it and drop it out in front of you. And he'll walk up and he'll eat it. And when he gets close to eating it, he hit E to pat his head. And then he's your buddy. See, look at that. And he'll try and follow you all around the map. But this is as fast as he runs is right there. And I think he's actually stuck on the foundation. He's not... They're not smart at all in any way. So what's he sitting around for? Oh, let's say he's going to go bring me something. They're not smart, and they're very slow, and they're really dumb. Oh. So anyway, that's the lizard doggos. They're cute. Um, they'll get under the tires of your car, and you'll run them over a bunch of times. <sighs> Let's... Okay. I need to know how to make these parts we need. Steel beams, steel pipes are made in here. Okay. But I don't have the recipe for encased beams, which you would assume are made in the assembler. But we didn't see them. I do need to make versatile frameworks because I need those for the space elevator. And I know I will need AI limiters. Oh, those are copper sheets and quick wire? That's nothing. Huh. Okay, well, we'll get to that when we get to that. But I know I'm going to need versatile frameworks. That's steel and modular frames. Jeez, oh my. So we're going to have to get that. We're going to have to get that steel moving over here. Uh like right away don't bring me uranium guy don't bring me radiation oh boy so getting though that steel over here is going to be the challenge makes me wish I had used stackable conveyor poles What is he doing? That is the derpiest creature. What? I, I don't know. I don't know why I tamed that dumb thing. He's just trying to get to me. That's what it is. Alright. Leave me alone, dog. We'll, we'll play more later. Okay. <laughs> yes, definitely build stackable pipes. Oh! I... No, they wouldn't do that, would they? The... I've not built an awesome sink yet, or a ticket shop. Now, they wouldn't... They wouldn't do that, would they? Where I have to do that? I know that's just mostly cosmetic stuff. Hmm.
Hmm. That's an interesting thought. Um, let's get these. I'm, I'm just... I'm at a loss of where I need to go next at this point. I'm just kind of messed up here. All right, we have 74 fuel still. Okay, great. Ah, uh, this way. Alrighty. Um, see, I could. I don't want to build a truck station. Those are, they're fun, to automate trucks, but the trucks get lost. The trucks will bounce into weird things, and then they will uh, go flying off into the atmosphere, and it's really annoying. Hmm. So I tend not to do truck automation. Uh, where am I going? Am I going the right way? Yeah, I'm going the right way. Knock the bouncy belly over. I should be running this truck off a of coal. It's more efficient. And knock this bouncy belly over. All right. Bet you this container is full. Oh my gosh, it's already full. Oh my goodness. Okay. Let's uh. Missing plates, of course. Are those? They're the same direction. There we go. Oh boy, yes. I remember the days before these things. And you had to do some fancy uh, belting. Oh my goodness sakes, this is so much steel. So much steel. And I was worried about them getting behind. They can't get behind because they can't output the steel fast enough. The belts. And I don't have Mark III belts yet. All right, so I need some plates so I can make another thing Just out here crafting in the wilderness. Let's make 10 plates. I don't recall how many I need. Oh, did it. Nailed it. First try. All right. Mainly because I want um, them to come back out the same side. A uh, container. Hmm. Okay. I don't know where I'm going. Okay. Get up in the top. So that should give us a lot of uh, 
steel storage. Okay. <sighs> Pipes. Pipes can be made in a constructor. What else can? The steel beams. But seriously though, where is... Why is the, like, the, um... Like, where is it? Okay, equipment, buildings. Vehicles. Why? Hmm. Hold on a minute. Let me take a look at something here. I'm going to open the satisfactory wiki on my other screen and just see if see what I'm supposed to be doing here. Because I cannot find the recipe for the reinforce or the the concrete beams. Encased industrial beam. Since it's done in an assembler, it's literally steel beams and concrete, which I knew. She's in the sulfur research. Advanced steel production. So, oh no, am I? Oh, geez. Uh, <laughs> this may be a problem for us. Um, I already put materials in for the milestone. Uh oh. So, according to the According to the wiki, we have to be in ah advanced steel production to get the encased beams. And I don't know why it would let me pick this one if I don't have that one since it requires the encased steel beams. So we need to go back to the hub. I don't know what in the world happened there. Is that my doggo? It is. He brought me some leaves. Aw. See, he tried to follow us all the way over there. Isn't that sweet of him? Ah, oh, why am I going up there again? I hope that we can change our milestone. If not, we may have a problem. Can't wait to get dynamite so I can blow those stinky things up. We don't have any worry about their gas. Oh, 
boy, this is kind of upsetting. Oh, good. Oh, wait, that's weird. Oh. Oh, nice. Look, it keeps... You can switch the milestone, and it keeps your progress. Well, that's good to know. That's very good to know. That is so good to know. This one's easy. I'll have this, like, boom, boom, boom. Except for the pipes. Um, that is phenomenal to know. I was afraid I was going to, like, lose something, or... Where's that wire container? All right. Or, that, or it would lock me in. Uh, let's see. That's 500, 1,000, 1,500. Uh, 200 rotors. That's easy. That makes me so happy that you can switch milestones. I was not aware that you could switch milestones. Uh, let's see. Sort. We need 200 rotors. Boom, boom. Done. Concrete's in. Done. Just the pipes. Let's throw this stuff in. We need the... To get the hyper tubes, we need the... Yeah. All right. Easy peasy. Now we need 200 pipes. Those will take just a moment. We can uh, head back up now that we got this situation situated. Head back over to steel. So good to know that you can switch milestones halfway in if you have an issue. I was absolutely zero aware of that policy, so that makes me very very pleased very pleased let's get these 200 pipes made they should go pretty quick actually This uh, tractor, as they call it, does not have very much torque. Going up hills is terribly painful. This is actually a small vehicle. Uh, there's also a bigger truck that you can get. It's actually called a truck, and it's massively huge. All right. So, oh, I got, I know what I got to do. Oh, we can go four. course you're gonna do that let's see logistics and this should make us pipes do it do it okay We only need 200, but we're gonna, I know there's lots of applications for pipes, so 
We're just going to container it up real quick. And I'm missing plates. Hey, who'd have thunk I'd be missing something stupid like plates? Uh, crafting bench. Yeah, let's make a billion trillion ingots. Is the rebar gun or should I go rifles? Um, The rebar gun is... Okay, so the rebar gun is like a spring-loaded device. So you don't need a full research on your sulfur tree at that point. So yeah, I would if you want, I'd go with a rebar gun. Uh, it's real simple. Is it worth it? Yeah, I mean, you can... You know the fluffy tails, the little dog things that run around and try and kill you. And, and the zapper... You know, it takes you like five hits, and the the Xeno Basher takes you two. But the nice thing about the rebar gun is it might take. Yo, oh, the fire spitters are terrible, um, but you can then shoot them from a distance too if you needed to. So there's always that. Um, it'll. I mean, it takes a few shots, but it's not terribly difficult. It's accurate. All right, let's see if we can finish what we were working on. We must finish what we started. Hello? Why does it feel like it's sitting up like really high? Because the ground goes up and now this thing is just all kinds of messed up. Okay. Oh, that's not even close. The problem with 3D factory builders. All right. Let's get 200 of these puppies in here and we will have some satisfaction. I probably should put a splitter on here and start making like iron beam, uh, steel beams because we're going to need the encased steel beams. Let's see if I can build another constructor. I can. <laughs> Here's where we're going to get fun. Invalid shape. Don't you love that? There's no invalid shape to this. Beams. Have you run into any of the big enemies yet? Because they come, believe it or not, they come in three different shapes and sizes. Uh, ranging from your starter ones up to some very nasty large ones. You've run into big ones, okay. It's, they're terrible. They're absolutely horrendous. Okay. The next size. Hey, this one's finally to the point where it's caught up. The, the iron ore can't keep up. Okay. There's, yeah, the, so yeah, they come in, I think, three different sizes, all of which are highly annoying. So here's the thing, I think with steel, you make raw steel yeah you make pipes and you make these in these beams so i think we'll be just fine with this plus we'll get a back buffer of ingots yeah we'll be good we'll be good halfway there there's 98 of 200 hooray
Hooray. That's full up. This is filling up. All right, we got about 20 minutes left. It's probably about how long it's gonna take for us to get that. So we've used the entire time just to set up our steel production. I can't wait to get the trains. I know there's gonna be, there's more iron down here. Is it two more nodes? We could really make this whole entire, whoa, okay. Normal even, it's a normal node. That's cool. So we could literally use all of this entire area and turn it into steel production. What's over here? Let's just do a little looking around. I think this is the edge of the world. I'm not jumping down there. I'm not jumping down there. I think the only way back up there is through here. Hey, it's Doggo. Did you find us anything good? Some coal. Yay. Good job, guy. Bring me something good. Bring me a hard drive. You know? Bring me... Your rain Bring me quartz. That's what I would love. Bring me some stinking quartz. Because quartz... Uh, I want to start making glass. I want to make some of the glass stuff. Let's see here. Let's find a place where we can set up our... I guess the awesome sink and the ticket shop. I've not built those yet, but if we want any of the cool cosmetic stuff, you know, like doors and windows for walls to where if you, so we can actually build a factory building, you know, then we're gonna need the awesome sink. Plus we got the shop cart, which is a cool little tiny car. Uh, the coffee mug, which is a must. Hey, I didn't roll the truck this time around. Then we need to figure out what we want to run into the awesome sink here. I suppose we could offload all these, some of these rotors. I know what we could do. We could literally spit off this quick wire the quick wire is just like so abundant and so easy and fast i think i've got an entire container of quick wire because in relatively no time look at this is just full of quick wire I know we're going to need quick wire, but let's, uh, let's sink it. Special, awesome sink. Now this thing is huge. And then we want to get our ticket shop. We're going to put the ticket shop over there. Let's get some power going here. Ah, there we go. We'll take a look. All right, so here's how we get our coupons. Let's run a belt. Let's watch. How about that? <laughs> 